Hi, I'm Ashley Croft. I am the principal here at Inglewood Elementary, and I'm excited to welcome you into our building and show you around a little bit today. If you've ever driven past our building, we're right here in the heart of Inglewood, right on Riverside Drive, and you see we have a very historic building on the outside. When you come in is when you see um, all of the modern technology and experiences that you would expect in a 21st century school. And so I'm really excited to show you all that today. We're starting out here in our library, which is one of my favorite parts in the whole school building. Um, there's just beautiful natural light in here, really great um, little nooks for kids to read in, and they're just surrounded by thousands of beautiful children's books. And so it's a, a place that they really get excited to come to. As the daughter of a lifelong music educator, the music program here at Inglewood is something that I am personally really, really proud of. One of the things about our music program is that it's not like music class when I was growing up where we learned the same songs over and over or learned how to square dance. Here in this music class, kids are learning how to play the xylophone. They're learning how to play the ukulele. They're composing their own songs. They are learning about how each of their individual rhythms that they've come up with can work together to make a song that they are then able to perform at our quarterly STEAM showcases that we have for their parents at night. Um, so this is a really, really vibrant space where kids are learning so many different skills that they are just really, really proud of. And one of my favorite things is getting to see them share those with our entire school community at those STEAM showcases. Kindergarten really sets the tone for how kids view school for the rest of their time in school. And so we find that it's really important for us to make sure that kids have a fun learning experience here in kindergarten. In every one of our classrooms, we have a classroom library so that kids have books right at their fingertips. Um, we have a small group learning space where they can learn with teachers, a Promethean interactive board in every single one of our classrooms so that kids get to experience that technology and really interact with their learning. We have movable furniture in all of our classrooms so that kids are able to put their desks in groups to work on group projects together. And then if they need some time to work on something independently, they're able to move away for that as well. Um, and, you know, here in kindergarten, they really love it because it's, it's for a lot of them the first time that they feel like they're really doing school. And so even getting to have their very own desk that they sit at, their name on it, and their own set of books, um, it's just a, an experience for them. And you can see how much pride they have in being able to, to participate in school that way. And we think that really sets the foundation for how kids view school here at Inglewood for the rest of their time. By the time students get to fourth grade, they have grown in so many ways. Both physically, they've grown. You see our desks are bigger and you know the books in this classroom are for older students, but they've grown academically and they've grown in their social and emotional abilities. They have learned a lot about math and science and social studies and reading, but they've also learned a lot about themselves and how to be independent learners. One of the things that's also really neat to see as our kids progress through their time here at Inglewood is their social and emotional skill and ability to, to label their emotions. If they're feeling frustrated or if they're feeling grumpy or if they're feeling nervous or excited, they're able to, to name that emotion and then they know something that can help them kind of reset or, or break out of that mindset so that they're more able to engage with the learning. That skill is something that we really, really focus on and it is a vital skill for them to be successful in middle school, high school, and beyond. Art class is another opportunity for our kids to create and use their creativity to make something that they're really, really proud of. One of the things that's really neat in our art class is the way that our teacher ties in our environmental sciences theme throughout all of the art that the kids are learning. So whether they're learning about how colors contrast with each other in nature and bringing that into their art, or if kids are drawing landscapes using different types of lines, um, kids have a focus on noticing the environment around them and learning about how beautiful that is and how that can tie into the art that they're doing. One of the things that's also really important for our art classes here is for kids to understand how art can tie into their identity and help them learn more about how to represent themselves in the world. 
Recently, our students were drawing self-portraits and they thought about what was important to them and how art could be used to represent that. Thank you so much for joining me for this tour of Inglewood. I want to end on the thing that I love the most about our school and that really makes our school so special. And that's our kids and our families. Um, uh, we have this, we love you wall with pictures of all of our kids. And this is the hallway into our cafeteria. So kids walk past this at least twice every single day. And they are reminded about how much they are loved here at Inglewood. I believe that it's not only our job as educators and as a school to make sure that we teach kids the academic skills that they need, but it's also incumbent upon us to help them understand the, the skills and gifts that they bring to the world. And that those skills and gifts are loved and valued. So I end our morning announcements and our closing circle every day with a reminder of how much they're loved. So again, thank you for joining us for this, this tour today. If you are interested in learning more about Inglewood, please reach out to us. We'd love to talk to you, answer your questions, um, and see if Inglewood might be a good fit for you and your family.